There is a dimension where the legal and the illegal are discussed. It explores the fastness of right versus wrong, causing man to study light and shadow to determine what is true and just. It's a dimension of discernment, and it's in an area called the legal zone. Most of you do some or all of your work on computer. You send offers, receive messages from clients, and communicate with lenders or title companies. These are all common tasks, so you may think nothing of an email that directs you to click on a link to view an offer or proceed with instructions for wiring money. However, it's important to always be careful when receiving emails from people you don't know or that ask you to provide sensitive information like passwords or bank account information. Some recent scams have been doing these very things. In one, the criminal sends you an email and asks you to log into Google Drive so that you may view an offer. This looks deceptively real and is how they obtain your password. They are then able to log into your email, filter your messages to hide those from your title company, and once they learn your writing style, they can reply to messages as if they were you. They will intercept emails from the title company and provide their own wiring instructions so the funds go directly to them instead of you. In another scam, the criminal uses your email to send your buyer one that looks like it's from the title company with instructions for wiring. The buyer wires funds to an account and receives confirmation of receipt. The seller also receives an email indicating the funds have been transferred but cannot be accessed until the next day. By the time the day passes, the funds are gone. No, no, Mrs. Middleton, no. It's not like an episode of Murder, she wrote. Look, what happened was that they hacked my email address and sent it to you, and, and you gave them your money. I can't get your money back. We need to call the police. To avoid these scary scams, never click on an email from a stranger or one that asks you for your passwords or bank information. Another risk you should be aware of is identity theft. These days, it's very simple to find personal information on the internet, including on your social media. Criminals will scan your pages to find answers to commonly asked security questions, such as your mother's maiden name and the street you lived on. Don't make it easy for criminals to steal your identity. If you or someone you know becomes a victim of an online scam, you should immediately change all of your passwords. If someone has managed to take money from you, then you need to contact the law enforcement authority. This could be your local police department or a federal agency such as the FBI or the Justice Department. 